What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again and today I have been down to Aldi and I have got a new product and I came across it in the um, like the healthy the healthy section. <laughs> They've got a few new um, like um, meal ready meals that are like supposed to be healthy. Um, this one is by their brand, it's their own brand, Slimwell. So it's obviously a little take on Slim Fast. There it is, it says it's new, Slimwell. And it is a beef burrito lunch pot. So that's exactly what I'm going to have for my lunch. So, I like a beef a burrito, that's like a, a wrap in it. Obviously this is without the um, without the wrap. So, it's just going to be a bit more of a, of a, well, a bowl, isn't it? It's a little pot. It's like a shrunk down version of the my protein stuff. Hopefully it tastes a little bit better than that um, pulled pot mac and cheese from the other day. That wasn't great. Big shout out to... Chef Reed, I have been gifted another air fryer to review and show you guys. There will be a discount link as well when them videos come out. We'll be unboxing that together. It's like an indoor barbecue sort of thing as well. So we're doing that this week. Um, yeah, and the guys that sent it me have said that there will be a, a, a discount code to buy it if you want to buy it. Right. But that's for another day. Today it's just about this um, beef burrito Slimwell lunch pot. So let's take a look at the box. So here it is, Slimwell beef burrito lunch pot. It says a single generous serving and a good, it doesn't say a good sauce or a big sauce, it just says a sauce of protein. It says, it says it's new. It says a satisfyingly tasty lunch pot with tender chunks of beef, red pepper, sweet corn and long grain rice in a burrito style sauce. There's no like chilli rating which is good because I don't really like the spice as we know. That is the uh, nutritional information so it's 393 calories per pack and half of your daily recommended salt is in here. So it's not that healthy really. 10.9 grams of fat. 4.9 grams of saturated fat. It is what it is, I suppose. I'm just trying it to see if it's nice. <laughs> so we'll go straight for the ingredients. As expected, it is more rice than anything else. You've got onion, red pepper. Cooked diced beef is 9%. Silver side beef. So cooked diced beef is 9%. Cooked beef is 8%. So 70% of beef in here celery is the uh, allergen that is it so it says source of protein protein continue contributes to a growth in muscle mass it is important to maintain a varied and balanced diet and a healthy lifestyle produced using eu and non-eu beef so a bit of both that is the full nutritional information for you guys that know what you're talking about there i of course do not 18.6 grams of protein and 50.4 grams of carbs. What's a bit of info there? It says cooked diced beef and a tomato beef and chilli sauce with peppers, onions, mixed beans, sweet corn and cooked white rice. And the only way to cook it is in the microwave. So that's what we're going to do. So mine's 1000 watts, so 5 minutes, stir and 2 minutes and then leave for 1 minute. Pierce it? Do we pierce it? Place a microwave, put a pierce film lid. Yep, that's it. So let's have a look at it. It's not very big, like I say. What's the grammage? Let's see the grammage. 350 grams. So I say it's not very big. It's actually, although it's a small little pot, it's actually the same weight as the uh, my protein ones at £4. Now, I'm not sure how much this was. I'll have to just double check the receipt. We'll get it in the microwave. That's it there. We'll get it in the microwave and I'll bring you back when it's time to uh, stir it and I'll let you know the price. So it's been five minutes. We've got a little, there's a little tab system here. A little, there we go. Looks quite nice that doesn't it really? Got to give it a stir now because it is still a little bit frozen at the bottom. You can see the mushrooms there look, look a bit like wild mushrooms to be honest. Mixed beans rice i think obviously it's made it's a bit watery at the moment it's made to be eaten out of this pot however i might put it on a plate or in a bowl 
So I've got to go back in for two more minutes in the microwave and bring you back when it's done. So these, these pots are £1.99. So it's literally half the price of a My Protein um, ready meal with, um, with it being the same weight. Now the actual protein in here is 18.6 grams. The My Protein ones are Obviously, they've, they've, added, they've been added with protein, so they're about 30 grams. So, there's not this is probably like two thirds of the protein, but you're paying twice the price. So, I don't know, I don't know what you guys would want to do. Would you try, would you prefer something like this than then my protein? I know they're not gone down very well, even though two of them tasted okay. The price is extortionate. This is half the price, and it's ready. So, wow. That will warm. <laughs> Blooming heck. Right, let's have a look here. So here it is. It looks like, well it just looks like a mushy mess really. Visually, this is not great. However, you've got them mixed beans in there. You've got pieces of beef, sweet corn. I don't know what quality that beef is going to be. It did say EU and non-EU. There's like tomatoes, red peppers, so kidney beans, some other sort of beans as well. It does, it looks all right. It just, it's just a bit of a mushy mess, isn't it? But we'll give it a go anyway. So I'm just gonna let that cool down for a minute and then we'll uh, have a taste. Okay, so it's all important taste time. You've got plenty in there, look at that. Plenty of like uh, ingredients in there, onions, peppers, mixed beans, but it's all just mushed together. I was gonna put it on a plate and try show it a little bit more, but I think it's just gonna look the same, but just flat out on a plate, because there's not, you can't really see. It's just a pile of mush, really. But does it taste nice? That's what it is. This bur burrito sauce, I don't think I've ever had it. We are gonna, I'm gonna try and find some beef first, right? So we've got a piece of beef here, one of the diced beef portions and see if have we got some focus we're gonna get some focus there it's not gonna focus <laughs> anyway beef really chewy really tough It's got a, a, a slight beefy flavour, but it's not it's not great that beef. I'm gonna get another one and see if that is just the um a one off because that was so tough. Some of the toughest meat I've ever had. Normally in these ready meals are not like that. My god. I'm chewing for days. Tiniest piece of meat. Yeah, that, that beef is, it tastes okay, but the, the texture of that is really, really tough. That is the, some of the toughest meat I've had ever. Right, I'm going to just get the whole, the whole rice, mush, bean, sweet corn, all in one. And just go straight for it because the beef is a bit of a letdown. Right. That burrito sauce is nice, it's very tasty. It's just the meat that's letting this down. This is, this is really nice apart from the meat. I haven't come across, there isn't that much meat, which I'm quite grateful of. But yeah, the onions are really nice. They look like they've been like fried in, and the peppers and stuff like that, they've been fried before obviously. Look at that proper like nice onions but you hit some meat wow it's a shame that beef has really let this down
I've never had meat as chewy and as tough as that. I'm probably going to pick all the meat out, which is insane. The actual rice and the rice bowl and the, the veg got a bit of a kick, to be fair. I think it probably should have a spice rating, maybe a one. But the, the rice and the burrito sauce and the onions and the peppers and that tomato, that's really, really nice. It's really tasty. Just that meat, if that meat was tender, if they swapped that out for chicken and it were tender, a bit like an Iceland curry chicken, or even the chicken in my protein was quite tender. That, I feel like, is beef tough to... I'm not really, a, I don't really have beef, I'm not really, I'm more of a chicken man, I'll be honest. I never get beef with anything, really. Always chicken. Is beef, you say satisfy your taste lunch pot with tender chunks of beef, that is a lie. Is beef harder to cook and make succulent? Like chicken's quite easy, isn't it? I have, we have smashed a rotisserie on this tower air fryer every week since I got it, and we are loving it. So, is it, is beef harder to make tender, is it? And then when you have to warm it up as well, because they make it originally, and then you've, I've got to microwave it in these pots. So, is that what's making it chewy? Would it have been tender, fresh? Who knows? I'm uh, I'm disappointed in the meat, but everything else in there is fantastic. Would I get it again? No, unless it was a chicken burrito lunch pot, then I'd probably give it a go because I feel like. The chicken's like, it could be more tender and be a bit of better taste as well. That was some of the toughest beef I've ever had. But, one ninety nine, not bad. Quick, six, seven minutes in microwave, easy. Got a little pot here we can keep, which we're gonna. And yeah, it's one of them, innit? Go, you guys give it a go and let me know what you think about it. Think about it in the comments and uh, we'll see if we agree or agree to disagree as sometimes is the case. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you tomorrow for another food review.